Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're going to be doing a little review on my Jetball Zip that I've now had for probably about three years now. Uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on this and um, yeah let's get into it. First I want to get comfortable because my bum's a bit cold. So what do I think of the jet boil? Well, I think it's a brilliant bit of kit. And in all honesty, I think it's one of the best bits of kit I've ever bought for the outdoors. And for, you know, for a good few reasons, because it suits my needs. I don't suppose it suits everybody's needs, but it suits my needs. And I wanted something that was gonna boil water fast so I could get my cup of tea or my cup of coffee when I want it. And I know that we're outside, and I know that we're relaxing, I'm supposed to be chilling and it shouldn't really matter how long it takes and I kind of get that argument as well that it shouldn't matter how long it takes to make a cup of tea when you're outdoors but I just like my cup of tea if I decide I want a cup of tea I want it there and then jet boil does that you know it says it in the name <laughs> jet boil um, but it's a bit more than that a bit more than that for me I've, I've been using it for a lot more but um, I'll tell you about that in a minute let's get a cup of tea made and this is a little, this is a little trick that I, uh, I came up with. I bought one of these, a little fire starter, a little ferro rod and steel. And I use that to light my jet boil and I keep it tucked in this little pocket here. I don't really know what that pocket's supposed to be used for. I suppose you could put a lighter in there. I've never really tried a lighter, I think I've got a lighter. I suppose you could fit a lighter in there. There you go. I'm not sure if this is on the other models, but the key thing about this one, the Jetboil Zip, is it doesn't have the piezo ignition or however you say it. And as you can see, it's all contained in there. Like you've got your burner is inside there. You've got your little can of gas and you've got your little gas canister support feet, sort of like, you know, stability stand. But this burner doesn't have an ignition so you have to light it and the reason why i bought this one is because i did a lot of reading online before i bought it did a lot of check-in reviews that's what you're probably doing now watching this and i i found out a lot of people were saying that the um the ignitions were failing on their jet boils so this was this was the cheapest one i think i paid about 68 pound a couple of years ago a few years back when before prices of everything went up and I decided to buy the one without the ignition and I just bought myself one of those and it's kind of a fail safe really isn't it because it can always be lit so let's get that lit and let's get that on I'm trying not to drop too much stuff on the floor now do I use this I don't use this I don't use this a great deal uh, it depends where I am if I'm in the car doing a bit of car camping or overlanding I don't tend to use it because I've normally got a nice stable base for it but somewhere like this I would use it and I see a lot of people seem to have a lot of issues with these. They seem to have problems getting it on, but I haven't really had any issues. You just you just pop it on the one, close in the second one, and it goes in that one and it's done. I see a lot of people faffing about saying they can't get it into this. See the second one there? They always struggle, but I don't really have any issues. So what you do is you do that, and you just screw that on as quickly as you can so you don't lose, this, don't lose any gas. You do this a tiny little bit. Pop that down. Turn on the gas. There you go. It's on. Take off this little bottom piece. Which, you yeah, know, not really sure what you do with that. It's supposed to be a cup of some sort. Fill it with some water. Now, it's always a good idea to measure your water out. So that way you're not wasting your water. See by again. Pop this on. Now 
put the lid on because it does make it boil quicker. And while that's boiling away, ready for a cup of tea, I'll show you what we've got for um, for brunch. Got myself one of these. A Wayfarer all day breakfast. Got it from Go Outdoors for five pound. So I'm gonna have that because I'm starving. Well, I'd say that was boiled, wouldn't you? Let's get a cup of tea made. And as you can see, we didn't waste any water. But you do have to um, make sure when you put it on, it's got these little locating lugs. Uh, look, you can see. Oh, just touched the burner, which is still hot. And then you, when you put it in, you just sort of slide it. Sort of locks it in. I don't always lock it in. I just sort of rest it on the top so I can just take it straight off. And I think this is supposed to be a handle. But I've never used it as a handle because it's a bit, I, I don't really trust that handle. So that's one thing I don't really like. But what I do is I end up, I put my fingers through it like that. So, so, so I can grip it and when I pour it, I tend to do that quite a lot. So let's get this tea brewed and get some food on. Oh, I'm supposed to get this in there and boil this in there for seven to eight minutes. What I want to do is let it get to the boil first, and I'm going to pop it in. I'd say that's good to go now. Let's see if we can get that in there. and turned it up fully. So we'll leave that in there for seven to eight minutes. It's about to boil any second anyway. So let's sort of time that. Yep, we'll time that, seven to eight minutes. Finish the tea. Well, while that's boiling away and cooking my brunch, I'll enjoy a cup of tea. And I'll chat to you about what I think about this jet boil and why I love it so much and why I think it's the best bit of kit that I've bought. And um, quite simply is because it's simple. It does what I want it to do when I want it to do it. And it does it reliably and it's really, really efficient. It doesn't really use a lot of gas. So that little tiny canister, you can use that little canister in there and that lasts for ages. I've not measured it, I've not, I've not you know, checked how long it lasts, but it lasts a long, long time. And you can get a lot of boils out of that. Um, I should probably check, put it up on the screen, how many boils officially jet boil tell you that you can get. Because I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. But I'm sure if you want statistics, you could go look all that up anyhow. But I'll pop it up on the screen, I'll find the information and put it up. Um, but the other thing that's a real game changer for me is this. This was a massive game changer. That's the pot support. That opens up. These open up. And just want to do it one handed. That actually locks in to the lugs that I was showing you earlier on the jet boil. You sort of pop it on you slot it in I'll show you actually afterwards and what that does is that gives you the ability then to put a pot on the top so you can use many different pots I use a cast iron I've got a little cast iron um, lodge skillet that I use a small one and I use that 
and that for me is just revolutionized the way I use my jet boil. I use that jet boil for most of my cooking these days. See, for me, what I like about it is the simplicity. It's quick, it's simple. I just need a little, a little pan, a little pot, pot support on my jet boil. And I can cook, I can boil water, I can have noodles in it, I can make dehydrated meals. I can, you know, it, it's very versatile in what you can do. That is the game changer. You get a jet boil, buy one of those. That is brilliant. And what I am looking at doing is I'm looking at getting, um, well, they do a jet boil summit skillet, they call it. It's quite expensive. And that's kind of why I haven't bought it. But I've read a lot of good things about it and I've actually seen a lot of good reviews on it. People saying that it's got no hot spots and it's really, really good to use, to cook. You know, you can cook a lovely steak on it. So I'm kind of thinking I want to cook a steak on it. Um, and the cast iron pan that I've got is brilliant when I'm in the car because obviously I don't need to carry it around with me, but you don't want to put it in a backpack. I mean, you don't want to be carrying cast iron anywhere, really, do you? Because it's heavy. So if you're off backpacking, that's not really going to work, is it? So you've got to have something light. So I will be purchasing a Jet Bull Summit skillet at some point. And I'll do a review on it. Maybe you could tell me in the comments what you want to see me cook. Do you want to see me cook a full English breakfast? Do you want to see me cook a steak on it? Let me know what you want me to see me cook. I'm going to get one and I'll do a separate video on that, tell you what I think of it. But for now, what I think of the Jet Boil, I think it's brilliant. Is it worth the money? You know, a lot of people ask, is it worth the money? Because they are expensive. The thing about Jet Boil is it's more expensive than the other ones. There's a lot of copies out there. Why, why not buy a copy over a Jet Boil? Well, why didn't I buy a copy over a Jet Boil? Because if it wasn't as good, I'd have been upset that I wasted the best part of probably what three quarters of the price on something I didn't like wishing I'd have bought a jet boil you know that buyer's remorse that you get when you buy something cheap because you think it'll be as good and it's not and you regret it and you wish you'd have bought the other one and then you wasted the money that's why I didn't do it you know um, and I did check a lot of reviews and yeah people were just saying it's they're not as good as a jet boil so really I just thought you're going to buy something like that just buy the original that's my opinion obviously not i'm not telling you what to do but that was why i bought a jet boil not a cheaper knockoff but maybe they're better nowadays i don't know i did buy this probably close to three years ago now but it's been brilliant it's never let me down it's been reliable never had an issue with it ever it always works every time i want to use it so let's so let's see how much this uh let's see how long this has got left Another couple of minutes and that'll be ready. Another reason why I bought the Zip, the Jet Boil Zip, is because it was a bit smaller than all the, other, all the other ones. And therefore it's a little bit lighter. I think, don't quote me on this, and again I'll double check, I'll get the official stats from Jet Boil's website and have a look, but I think it's approximately 340 grams. Can you get a, a lighter stove well, yeah of course yeah you can buy them little tiny ones can't you now but i don't believe they're very efficient from what i've seen and what i've heard people say they're not very efficient so depends on what you want you know do you want efficiency or do you want lightness but this has got the built-in cup hasn't it so you know as you can see it's got a built-in cup and with that built-in cup you can obviously do your, your noodles in there if you want to do some noodles and I've done that in the past. Put some ramen noodles in there, cooked it. Although I don't like doing it too often though. I'll tell you what, I don't really like using it for that. And I must admit, because they're not gonna wash it out. <laughs> because I don't really wanna put my water in there to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee after I've had noodles in there. But in a pinch, that's what you have to do sometimes. So you have that, you know, I have that option if you want to. So yeah, it's good for that. So it's very versatile, like I was saying before. Very versatile bit of kit. I would say they're done. Just turn that off. Take that off. Well, actually, let's take that out first. I'm going to leave this for about a minute to cool off. So we'll put that there. Yep, 
you've got to be careful with this though. Only use the touch it by this because this part is very hot. So is that. This part's pretty hot as well because it's been boiling for like eight minutes. So yeah, it's pretty hot. So we'll leave that on there to cool off. We'll give that a minute to cool down and then we'll get the cutlery out. Today, we're going to use the outlery again. Brilliant, this is. Not that lightweight though. But I do like the simplicity of this too. And it does pack down into a lovely small little, neat little package, which is easy to store. You know, just pops into there, look. Oh. And I figured out what the turtle was for. See the turtle? Couldn't figure out for the life of me what it was. Tried to give it to my kids once and they said, oh, we don't want that, Dad. What it's for? This is what it's for. Look how genius this is. <laughs> so your fork or your spoon doesn't touch the platform that it's on. So I don't want it to touch this dirty wood because obviously I'm going to be eating with that. Good, eh? Lots of options options to choose from with that kind of thing. That's what I went for. I think this is probably ready now. Oh, if you can see that, there's two squirrels over there going around the tree stump, all the way up. That's funny. Right. That's me all day breakfast. <laughs> Does it look appetizing? Let's find out. Pretty good. Let's try a sausage. Hot. Enjoy that now. So, should you buy a jet boil? I think so. I think you should. I think if you're if you're on the fence and you're looking to buy one, I don't think you can really go wrong with it. To be honest, it's like all the, it's like all the gear, isn't it? Out there though, there's always something different, something maybe lighter or cheaper or trendier. Yeah, the jet boil is quite a trendy thing, isn't it? I mean, everybody wants a jet boil kind of thing, don't they? They've done really good with the marketing. But it's not a purchase that I regret. So I think I can put my hand on my heart and say, yeah, it's a great bit of kit. I love it, actually. Um, and I think if you're looking to buy something like that, get one. Like I said earlier, definitely get the pot support. Oh, I did, show, I did say I was going to show you the pot support, didn't I? Let me show you that now. So I've already opened it. These fold, these fold down for storage. The only thing I would say is it's a bit awkward to store because these are sharp and it cuts things in your bag. So really you need like a little, some little pouch for it, which I haven't got, which I do need to get something like that. But you literally just take that off, you put it on, and it kind of just, see the little lugs there? It just turns, look, so it locks it in. And then you can put stuff on the top then. So you can place a pan on there. And then you can use it like a little cooker. It's just brilliant. I think it's just a game changer for me. One thing though that I just remembered that I needed to talk about and I keep remembering things as I'm doing this review and I'm like oh yeah I didn't, I didn't mention that on the bottom 
yeah, you've got this little flux ring. You see, oh, dripping water all over myself now. You see them little like fins? It's like a heat exchanger type thing. Well, that is what gives the jet boil its, its jet power. That's what makes it so efficient at um, boiling water so quick. But when you use the pot support, it's open, isn't it? As you can see, look, let me show you. So that's open. So this burner is now open to the wind. It doesn't have the flux ring because that flux ring stops the wind getting in and putting the flame out. So if you're using the pot support, you need to get like a little wind block. So I've bought a little wind block because when I've been in a windy condition, it's okay when I'm boiling my water, when I'm actually using the pot, when I'm actually, when I'm actually using a jet board pot because of the flux ring at the bottom. But then when I've wanted to cook something on the pan, the wind has been yeah, blowing the, the, the flame and making it take a lot longer. So if you're using the pot support, you've definitely got to get yourself some sort of little windshield. So that's definitely uh, one bit of advice I would give you if you're going to buy the jet bond, the pot support. But all in all, brilliant bit of kit. And like I said, I think it's worth the money. For me, personally, it was worth the money. I'm glad I bought it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the review. So if you, uh, if you have any questions, pop them down. Pop them down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to answer you after, you know, a few years worth of use. I've, I've learned a few little things. So, um, yeah, just ask away. And if you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel because that's always helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys.